Right now, 85% of customer service interactions are handled by AI chatbots. But here's what nobody tells you. These bots are evolving beyond scripted responses into emotional companions that remember your birthday, detect stress in your voice, and could soon become your therapist. Today, we'll explore how chatbots went from clunky assistants to digital humans, why tech giants are betting billions on this revolution, and the dark side of bots that learn a little too well. Today's chatbots use three groundbreaking technologies. Transformer architecture, the same tech behind ChatGPT that understands context 10 times deeper than old rule-based bots, multimodal learning. Combining text, voice, and even camera input to detect emotions. Memory networks. Remembering past conversations to build relationships. Real-world example. Wobot, an FDA-approved mental health chatbot, uses cognitive behavioral therapy techniques to reduce anxiety by 22% in clinical trials. It detects subtle language cues like I guess or maybe that indicate self-doubt, then guides users through evidence-based exercises. Chatbots are revolutionizing three sectors. Healthcare. Ada Health's symptom checker matches doctors' diagnoses 90% of the time. Sensely's nurse avatar reduces hospital visits by 30%. E-commerce. Shopify merchants using chatbots see 35% higher conversion. Nike's style assistant increases average order value by $27. Finance. Bank of America's Erica handles 50 million plus requests monthly. Fraud detection bots analyze speech patterns for scams. The dark side of chatbot intimacy. Addiction risk. Replica users report falling in love with their bots. Manipulation. ChatGPT can persuade users 40% more effectively than humans. Bias amplification. Microsoft's Taybot became racist within 24 hours. Regulators are scrambling. The EU's AI Act now requires chatbots to disclose they're not human, while California bans bots from impersonating real people. By 2025, expect chatbots that predict needs before you ask. Clone deceased loved ones already happening in South Korea. Pass the Turing test 100% of the time. The question isn't whether chatbots will transform society. They already are. The real debate, should these digital beings have rights when they become indistinguishable from humans? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.